bowling. It's a great game. And not only that, it can be enjoyed as an individual and team sport. Before we get into the basics of good bowling, let's take a look at our surroundings. The ball racks vary from center to center, but usually hold about 15 balls. This is the approach. This is the lane. There are lane markings embedded into each lane. More on those later. Today's bowling pins are generally made with synthetic plastic. Years ago they were solid wood. Some still contain a white maple core. The bowling balls are constructed of a non-metallic material. Then there are the bowling shoes. They're a must for everyone's safety and they can be rented at all bowling centers. Let's begin with the proper way to pick up the ball. Face the pin so you can see the balls heading back from the returns. Wait for the balls to stop. Younger bowlers should use two hands, one on each side, lifting straight up. Watch your fingers. If you put them between the balls, you could get hurt. Older bowlers can use one or both hands, but again, watch those fingers. Let's bowl. The two-handed delivery is recommended for younger bowlers. The child stands approximately three inches from the foul line. Feet shoulder length apart, body bent slightly forward, toes pointed toward the pins. Head up, looking at their aiming spot. Early on, this should be the center arrow. Hold the ball with thumbs on top, fingers equally spaced around the ball. Then they swing the ball twice between the legs and release on the third swing. And now the single-handed grip used by most bowlers. The ball should be held firmly with the fingers evenly spaced. It should not rest in the palm of your hands. The rule is you should be able to place your finger between the ball and the palm. The starting position. To find your starting point, stand on the approach with your back to the pins and your heel six inches from the foul line. Without using the ball, simulate your approach. Now, turn around and face the pins. This is your starting position. Many coaches prefer this done without the ball. Take a few practice approaches to make sure you do not go past the foul line. Let's talk stance, approach, and delivery. Your body should be erect, with shoulders square to the target, toes pointed at the target, knees slightly bent. The ball is held chest high in front of you, supported by your non-bowling hand. If you are starting with your left foot, the bulk of your weight should be on your right foot. The hands and left foot begin the move simultaneously. The ball is pushed slightly upward and away from the body as the first step is taken with the left foot. Your body should be tilted slightly forward. As the first step is nearing completion, the left hand leaves the ball and the left arm is extended to maintain your balance. The right arm pushes forward to the full extension of the push away. The right arm and the ball then begin the start of the backswing. Here's a closer look at the push away as it all comes together. And the backswing. At the end of the push away, your right arm should be straight fully extended. As you begin the second step, the hand should now descend in a natural arc, allowing the weight of the ball to control the height of your backswing. Keep your arm close to your body. Then there's the slide. It completes the final step in the approach. The length of the slide is determined by the length and speed of the approach. Finally, the delivery. At the same time as the slide, with the left foot forward, the right arm swings forward close to the body on the same course just completed by the backswing. The ball is released as you reach the foul line. Don't forget to follow through. After the ball is released, keep your arm moving forward towards the target. Let's take a look at the three-step approach. And it is as easy as one, two, three, because each number is linked to a step and an arm motion. On one, you push away and take the first step with your left foot. On two, you perform your backswing while taking the second step with your right foot. On three, your arm swings forward to make the delivery as the slide is taken with the left foot. That ends with the release of the ball and the follow-through. Once you put it all together, it's a thing of beauty. The stance, 
the push away, the backswing, the slide, the delivery, and the follow through. And it works for left handed bowlers as well. The stance, the push away, the backswing, slide, delivery, and follow through. Let's talk about spot bowling. Trust us, it'll make a big difference in your game from the very start. We teach spot bowling, especially to young and rookie bowlers, because it makes it easier to aim at a target that is 15 feet away than it is to aim at one that is 60 feet away. There are lane markings embedded or stamped into each lane. They serve as the targets when you are delivering the ball. The number of lane markings vary, but usually there are five to seven on the approach portion and up to ten more just a few feet past the foul line. The bowler uses the approach markings to line up and the lane markings as aiming points to help them strike the pins exactly where they want to. The concept is easy to grasp and practice takes the bowler to the next level. Bowling. It's fun for everyone, and you'll find it a pleasure to instruct and coach. Good luck, and have fun.